Hi everyone, Anshul this side from RK Overseas Education and uh, today we are at Clausel and uh, we have been covering Technical University of Clausel along with our students. So now uh, we are standing in front of the Informatics Department of uh, T. Clausel and it's been snowing here for past two days so it's all covered in snow. Uh, plus uh, we have uh, Anket and Shabun here with us uh, who are both uh, about to complete their master's studies in informatics from TU Clausel. So we'll be understanding from them like what study modules they have pursued so far uh, plus uh, what are the job opportunities after completing their studies as well as the study modules uh, which they have opted as electives. So let's introduce uh, both of them first. Hi Ankit, how are you? Hi, I am good. So Ankit, can you please give your introduction first? Hi, uh, my name is Ankit Sharma and currently I am doing Masters in Computer Science in uh, TU Clausel and it's been uh, two years here already and uh, I am in my last semester, I am doing my thesis and uh, yeah, I think that's it all about Fine, yeah. And uh, Shardul, you have already met. So, Shardul, can you please give a short introduction? So, my name is Shardul Bhatt and I'm doing my Master's in Computer in, uh, computer Science, Informatics. And it's my last semester. I'm about to start my thesis and it will be done by next day, I guess. Alright. So, since both of them are already about to finish their studies now, so uh, let's understand from them that what all uh, subjects that they have studied in Informatics, uh, what are the elective modules that they have chosen and what are the reason behind opting them. So Ankit, like, uh, could you please tell me like, what are the specific subjects uh, specifically that you have studied here which would have probably given you better opportunity in terms of finding a job here? Okay, yeah. Um, so basically our course is divided like uh, eight, co uh, eight courses we have to do uh, uh, in informatics, then two were compulsory for maths, then we also have to do uh, research methods, there was just two credits, then we have to do seminar, master project and in the end thesis. And uh, so for the informatic courses, there were courses like uh, requirement engineering, software system engineering, data science. All right. Fine. So I, I have a question here for both of them. Like many of these students, they ask us that if, if they come into computer science uh, master's program, is there any possibility for them to also offer subjects related to data science or AI, which is also very much in demand these days? So did you have any source subjects as well? We had uh, AI computation and applied computation science and machine learning and data analysis. So these are subjects that students are more interested in. So are these part of the regular subjects or the elective ones that you have opted for? So these are uh, the machine learning and data analysis comes under mathematics department. So uh, these are compulsory and you need to do it. And the other subject you can knock different subjects. Okay. All right. Fine. Can so. Ah, ah, please, please. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so actually, uh, the uh, the whole ma mas master of computer science program is divided in such a way that uh, we can choose whatever we want to do. For example, if we want to go in data science, so we can choose those subjects. Like we can take deep learning, we can take AI engineering, and uh, machine learning and uh, uh, data analysis. And if we want to go in uh, network side, for example, cyber, then we can take uh, these computer networks courses. And plus, if you want to become a software engineer, then there are courses like software engineering and uh, there are co co courses for automation also. So it's like we can choose our own path here. And all these study modules are already mentioned on the IFTS website as well, right? Like what are the subjects that you have yes. Be Before applying, we can uh, we can already see what are the, the all the modules are there and we can already plan how we want to do it. Right. So this is perhaps a good uh, option as well uh, for those students who perhaps want to go for data science uh, as a master's course. However, because of the competition into courses such as data science into German public universities, you can always offer computer science as an option and start opting electives which are more focused on data science or AI perhaps. This information is always given on each of the entries website about the study modules that you are going to cover in your master's studies. Now uh, let's also understand like since they, they are about to complete their studies, uh, Ankit just told me like he already has uh, a job offer along with PhD. So let's understand like how did he got the offer, which company uh, perhaps if you want to share. So basically uh, in my third semester, uh, I was already applying for the job and uh, then I had like uh, two options and I, so I always wanted to do a PhD. So I got this uh, job option for research, like uh, it's a working student. So I work half time here as a student and uh, rest of the time I study. Uh, so it works like this. Uh